So it's one of the homeless sweeps here. The prairie exit off the 105. It's pretty clear still after the Super Bowl. There's a hotel across from uh, Hollywood Park. Looks like it's in full swing now. They have a cool uh, patio vibe up there. I'm gonna have to go up there one of these days and have a drink and see what kind of views you can see up there. It's like this lobby area is about finished, but I don't see it being opened as of yet. Looks kind of fun. So this is pretty nice. Ever since about the uh, Super Bowl, they've gotten rid of that disgusting temporary fencing. Now you can take it all in of what it truly should look like. Short little borders there, but you know, a lot of landscape, elevated landscaping. Probably the most part keeps people away. All right, here we are off of Prairie, uh, close to Century very nice to finally not have those invasive fencings all that fencing crap is gone I can see the landscape or what it was meant to look like it looks like they put in some, uh, some cypress plants trees And here we are making our way to the residential area. Uh, I'm not sure if there's much I can show you that's changed since the last time. You can see just a little peek there of some of the uh, exteriors of the residential. Looks like it's about finished. new little business across the street. I don't recall ever seeing that before. I have a nice uh, gold paint there. See this area, the fencing's also removed except for a portion here by the construction. I'm not sure what what they're gonna do with that. If they're gonna put fencing back up or leave it as is. Hopefully they'll leave it as is. But all the tents from the Super Bowl from a couple weeks ago, all that stuff is gone, obviously. If you remember, it was a few games back. I don't know if it was the NFC Championship or another game. I think it was this lot over here. <laughs> Some guy just, uh, off the streets, um, open up these gates and then <laughs> started charging people to park there. I don't know, it was at least a hundred bucks or maybe more, I forget exactly. And then the cops came and uh, intervened and the guy, I think on the most part he gave everybody's money back. <laughs> but that was a pretty, that was a pretty good scam there. But it could have worked. Um, I don't know how he got caught but yeah unfortunately it's still just Nothing going on there. Not sure who owns it, what they're going to do with it, but prime real estate across the street here. You see, they have those Rainbird rotating sprinklers. A little more water efficiency than uh, your conventional sprays that uh, evaporate a lot of the water. So, smart move on SoFi's part to uh, use this. I'm wondering if anybody parked here during the Super Bowl. And this is a perfectly good parking garage would have made sense.
Not sure how many cars it would hold, but... If anybody can comment down below if this garage was utilized during the Super Bowl, I'd love to know. Because I know they had to take away some space because of all the festivities with the tents and everything, so... Everything's open there. Open, open, open. Four levels. got a funeral procession there well they'll have these uh, guys on motorcycles controlling traffic and they're on their way up Prairie to Manchester uh, where to buy the Inglewood Mortuary Cemetery <laughs> <laughs> 